Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Tools of Deck Tuesday, and today I thought I would give a few updates on some of the things that are coming up in the channel. All right, well, let's jump right into it. First of all, at the end of the video, we'll open this thing up. This is a capture card by Evermedia, which is relatively inexpensive and hopefully will give us pretty good results, specifically with this laptop back here. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions on this printer and I thought maybe we'd run through, do some demos and answer those questions in a video. Also, another topic that I'd like to address soon is the topic of jailbreaking an iPhone. Recently, I was watching an episode of MacBreak Weekly with Leo Laporte and some other folks, and Leo actually said that he thought it was stupid in 2020 to jailbreak your iPhone. Now, I beg to differ, and I know there's a lot of people that agree with me, such as Linus from Linus Tech Tips. We'll talk about that soon. All right, let's open this thing up and see what's in there. Alright, well here you can see all the stuff that comes in the package. Now I'm going to say right off the bat that with some of this stuff, I don't know what they were thinking. But with other stuff, I think they made some really good decisions. Let's take a closer look at some of the things that come in the package. This is the audio cable. What this is going to allow you to do is to plug in your headset into the capture card plug one end of this into the capture card and the other end into your controller and then it's going to be able to record your audio from your game and your chat at the same time. You can see that this is a standard TRRS connector so it's going to work with any headset that has this standard connector so all the headsets that are wired that work with PS4, PCs, Xbox will work with this capture card. Here's one of the HDMI cables. It comes with two. But here's where we get to one of the things that I don't quite understand. There's nothing really special about these cables. They're only about a foot and a half long. And I understand that they want this to be portable. But assuming you have a screen and some type of source like a console or a PC that you are gonna hook up, I would assume that you already have an HDMI cable. So why not give you one cable that's just a little bit longer and a little bit nicer. This is the USB cord. Now this thing's actually pretty nice. It's braided, it's about four feet long. However, it's USB 2.0, it's USB micro. Now this capture card is not that old. USB-C was around, USB 3.1 was around. I can't imagine it would have cost that much more to put a USB-C connector in. Why didn't they give us a connector with higher throughput so the video signal would request would require less compression and it would give us, the consumer, a better product in the end for maybe just a few more bucks. Looking at the main unit, here's the top. There's not much there, just one big button to start and stop recording. Here's the front of the unit. Over to the left, you can see the audio jacks. Over on the right hand side, you can see a mode selector switch and the volume controls. Here's the back of the unit. On the far left, you'll see two HDMI ports. One comes in from your source, such as computer or console, and the other one goes out to your monitor. To the right of that, you'll see your micro USB port. That goes to your computer to do some live streaming or whatever. Over on the far right, you'll see a micro SD card slot. So you can record directly to a card without ever having to hook this up to a computer. There's not much going on on the ends here. 
There's no connectors and no buttons, but tell me this thing doesn't look like a barn. Just slap some barn doors on the end of this thing. Overall, I think they did a pretty good job of designing this thing. I like the fact that it passes through 4K video, so you can still play your games in 4K. It only records in 1080p at 60 frames per second, but I think that's sufficient because as I understand it, most people only watch game streams in that resolution or less anyway. I do wish that they had given us one longer HDMI cable instead of two shorter ones, and I wish they would have chosen USB-C instead of USB micro. So those are my initial impressions. We'll see how it holds up when we do some gameplay. All right, there you go. There's a look at some of the things that are coming up soon on the channel. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want me to include in those videos or maybe some totally separate topic. Let me know what you want me to do. I really appreciate you stopping by to watch the video. See you next time. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday, and today I thought I'd give a few updates. A foo? <laughs> I'll give a foo updates. <laughs> uh. I thought the screen was off. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions on this printer. Whoops. All tips and other people that disagree with that cinnamon. What's that cinnamon? cinnamon <laughs> on the channel soon plus a look at what comes in the box in the Avermedia Live Gamer Pro 2 <laughs> plus uh, plus what's in the box in the Avermedia Live Gamer Pro